I promised I'd make more reviews on this channel, and I am. So, let's start off with, from 2013, Frequencies. Okay, this movie takes place in a world where luck and fate and whatever nature, whatever you want to call it, is determined by a test. Everyone has a frequency level of how much nature is going to help them succeed in life. It's on a scale from 1 to 100, and our two main characters rank a negative 7 into 127. They can't spend more than a minute together because they're so destined to not ever be together that nature will rise to stop this from happening. It'll cause hurricanes, earthquakes, fires. People will just run into the room and grab them and carry them away. They cannot spend more than one minute a year together. The guy, he immediately falls in love with a girl. He's low frequency. He has a just feelings. He just feels everything. The girl, she is incapable of feelings at all because as I explained uh, if you're that lucky you don't care why you have no knowledge that anything bad could ever happen and you don't care why everything good ever happens to you and it's just how things are like I always walk up to the when a cab's pulling up, I always walk up to the station as the train's pulling up. I never have to wait five seconds. I just, life works out. Parents of the boy are told, yeah, your kid's life is always going to suck. We can't help him. And the girl's parents are told, your daughter's life is always going to be awesome. Like, there's nothing we can do to help her take these opportunities. Like, it's just going to work out. No matter what she does, she will always be awesome at life. Well, they decide to both stay in the school anyways. She wants to do experiments on someone that's so low frequency, and he's in love. He somehow eventually finds out a way to temporarily even out their frequencies by using keywords. There's a whole thing with a government conspiracy that the government has known about these keywords and that in the past they've been used to manipulate people and brainwashing and that part of the movie is kind of confusing but for the most part it's about fate. In like, are you just a robot? Uh, do you is there a flourish? Can you change anything? Like, if you have positive thoughts, does it help? If you, I mean, even the in-between people, he's hopeless, she's hopeless, but the in-between people, like, can you be changed? Can you make movements towards the right direction, or are you always going to be in your destined place in life? But at the end, it ends up being, uh, did fate, just because you defeated fate, does that mean you won? Did fate design a way for you to defeat it? And if it did, does that mean it won? And should you care? You got what you wanted. You... You succeeded with your plan, but you only succeeded because you're a robot that was manipulated into the situation of winning. And should you care that that's how you got there? And that's what this movie is about, and uh, it's a really, really interesting movie. It's really low budget British film, but... I think it's interesting, and I think if you could get people together to watch this film and talk about it, uh, it'd be an interesting conversation. Watching by yourself, probably not recommended, honestly, but I think it's a really well thought out idea. Uh, maybe the solution that they come up with 
was a little rushed in like the antidote they want to call it but I think the idea is still pretty solid so yeah I, I'd give this one a chance thank you for watching and as always I shall try to do better next time